Saudi Arabia is the first stop on the president's trip this week. His son, Donald Trump Jr., delivered a commencement address in neighboring United Arab Emirates. As Juliana Goldman reports, the younger Trump's appearance in Dubai is raising new questions about potential conflicts of interest. Thank you. When Donald Trump Jr. spoke to graduates of the American University in Dubai earlier this week, he joined the ranks of such distinguished commencement speakers as former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Colin Powell. When I look back on what my father did in this past election and the risk he took. Clinton got $150,000 for his speech in 2002. Another speaker told CBS News they were paid $60,000 plus first class airfare. The Trump Organization wouldn't say how much the president's son received, but told us he's been participating in business-related speaking engagements for over a decade. You can do it all! You During the presidential the campaign, Trump Jr. hammered Bill Clinton for accepting speaking fees from foreign entities while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State, calling it pay-to-play. While the university is private, sources tell CBS News Dubai helped found and holds a continuing stake in the school, raising the ethical question of whether a foreign government could be trying to curry favor with the president through his family. Donald Trump Jr. is, is you know, is a part of his father's business, but he doesn't really have other experiences that would um, make him uh, kind of a normal speaker at these things. Karen Young is with the Arab Gulf States Institute. Certainly from the Trump Organization perspective, this is like good public relations, right? It's good community relations. The speech comes as he's actively marketing multi-million dollar condos at a new Trump-branded golf resort in Dubai. While there, Trump also had lunch with their business partner in the development, who posted this picture on social media. This is Donald Trump Jr.'s second visit to Dubai in three months. Anthony, his last trip to open that golf resort racked up at least $16,000 in hotel costs for his taxpayer-funded Secret Service protection. Juliana, thanks.